Hey lovelies. All right, so I decided to do a collective reading for us um, to think about what we need to be doing between now and April 20th. April 20th is gonna be the start of Taurus season. It's also gonna be the solar eclipse. Um, and so I decided to pull a few cards for us to see what guidance we need. So this is a collective reading like all my others. Take what you can use and move on from the rest. So what I have here starting off is some of you are stuck. You're stuck in your own trappings. You're stuck in your head. You're stuck in your heart. There's something that's keeping you from moving forward. Whatever that is, you're going to need to make a decision. And that decision is going to need to be made because the solar eclipse basically is going to make a decision for you and lock that door. And you're going to be there for about the next six months until the next round of eclipse season which is like October November so you really need to decide right now what kind of life do you want to lead for the next six months what kind of magic do you want to bring into the mundane for the next six months and we have to do this now like this week is a really auspicious week to be doing the work and also it preps us for Mercury retrograde that's coming up here on the 21st. So it's really important that right now you clear the brush, you do the weeding that you need to do, and you get moving. And I say that because we have here the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is telling us to get going, to now's the time, strike when the iron is hot, you know, there's no dilly-dallying around this. I know I sounded like I just fell out of the 50s. <laughs> I'm invoking my father. I'm sorry. Um, you know, now is the time. And so from a planetary alignment perspective, you want to move on this. You want whatever decision that is needing to be made, don't stay at the crossroads for too long make the decision you need to make that's going to be the best for your life you're working really hard there's some of you out there that have been really working towards your long-term goals and you know we can have short-term goals and they're great but are those short-term goals building up to the expansion of your long-term goals that's something that you really need to ask yourself because manifestations about layering so some of you guys have heard me talk about this in the past of you know manifestations like a cake it's a layering right you make your manifestation you do the work in the mundane you expand it you do your next layer of manifestation you work on it in the mundane you make your adjustments maybe you got a little too much frosting on one side that's okay you even it out you eat some of that frosting and you carry on building your cake, right? So this is the same with the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles wants you to look at your long-term goals and what you're building and what you're investing for yourself, whether that's your mental health or that's your finances or that's a relationship that you're in. Whatever that is, look at it for the long term. So the Wheel of Fortune came out you know, the Wheel of Fortune, I love this card because it really is, you know, about life. We're going to have ups and downs in life. And that's okay. We're supposed to have ups and downs in life, right? And so sometimes this is a down. We get stuck in our own trappings. We get stuck in our head. But when we remember to get out of our own way, we have this action here, right? And that helps us build for the long term. So these are things that I want all of you to think about. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And also if you have any like collective read suggestions, I'm totally open to it. Um, feel free to comment, um, send me a message and I will pull another collective read for folks. 
Another thing that could be helpful, I do have four workshops up right now. They're energy workshops. So grounding and clearing, uh, manifestation, transformation, and cord cutting. Cord cutting right now is really important. I want everyone to think about who's walking with you and will they be walking with you in the future? Like really, you know, pick your crew. Who's on your team? Who's rooting for you? Who's lifting you up? Or who's maybe giving you the evil eye? I mean, if you got some jealousy going on in your circle, sometimes that pokes holes in your protective bubble and also pokes holes in your magic. So it's really essential to be selective of who is close to you and who is in your inner circle. So that's cord cutting, that's energy um, 102. I'll be dropping expansion energy 105 here pretty soon. I've just been really busy trying to get my stuff set up before Mercury retrograde hits and I'm almost finished. So trying to get ahead of the game. That's why I'm pulling the cards for everyone right now, which is, you know, strike while the iron's hot, everybody. Get it done. So please take the four workshops if that's helpful for you. They're, everything I do is donation-based. Um, if you want a one-to-one -one reading, you can take a look at my website and book yourself a session. And please feel free to um, join me. I will be doing a candle burn on April the 19th for folks um, for the dark moon, which is again is another clearing and in preparation for the solar eclipse coming on April 20th and to start off your Taurus season on a nice steady footing. I'm also going to be doing a um, tea light um, service for everyone um, on April the 21st. Um, it's going to be open roads. We can all use that <laughs> bit of a boost when Mercury, when, excuse me, when Mercury retrograde hits. So trying to keep the roads open, give you guys a little of that extra energy. So please feel free to join on that too. That can also be found on my website. And if you're following me on Instagram, the link is in my bio. So I hope this is helpful and sending you guys a lot of love.